Whether you like him or not, you can't deny that Gordon Ramsay has dominated the celebrity chef world for years. Starting out in his 20s, he quickly established himself as a chef before making his way to her television screens. His fiery temper and scathing remarks to tearful House Kitchen and MasterChef contestants, as well as hapless restaurant owners on Kitchen Nightmares, have made for satisfying if terribly stressful entertainment. But Ramsay's more than snarly insults and an unrelenting barrage of F-bombs. Continue watching to learn some little-known facts about the fiery chef turned TV personality. Before we begin, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 20. He was once held at gunpoint while filming a TV segment. Ramsey traveled to Costa Rica to investigate the area's illegal shark fin trade for a 2011 episode of the British show The Big Fish Fight, in which he investigated the ingredients of shark fin soup. Ramsey claims he discovered a shark fin sack beneath a boat and that when he threw the sack on deck, everyone started screaming and shouting. Back at the wharf, there were people pointing rifles at us to stop filming. The police came and advised us to leave the country. They said if you set one foot in there, they'll shoot you. Number 19. He's one of the world's highest paid chefs. Ramsey earns a sizable annual salary from his restaurants and TV shows. In 2016, he shared the 34th spot in Forbes' list of highest paid celebrities with Beyonce and surpassed Kim Kardashian West. His earnings that year were $54 million, and he increased them to $60 million the following year, propelling him to number 26 in Forbes' 2017 list tying with Elton John and Garth Brooks. Forbes named Ramsey the highest earning chef in 2012, but by 2017, he's been surpassed by Paul Bocuse, Jamie Oliver, and Alan Wong. Number 18. Ramsey and Mario Batali have beef, not the medium-rare kind. Ramsey's feud with fellow chef Mario Batali began in 2008, when Batali insulted Ramsey's food, and Ramsey retaliated by calling Batali Fanta Pants. While it may appear to be a harmless nickname, it is actually a dig at Batali's ginger hair. Batali then barred Ramsey from all of his restaurants although he has started that he's willing to make amends with Ramsey if Ramsey makes the first move. Number 17. His first career choice was to be a professional soccer player. Ramsey, like many young British boys, aspired to be a professional soccer player. He has even claimed in the past that he played for Scotland's Glasgow Rangers until a knee injury ended his pro soccer career. His claims are false, though the Rangers did apparently monitor Ramsey as a potential player as a teen prior to his injury. Number 16. He has his own video games. If watching Ramsey scream at people on TV isn't enough, check out these virtual worlds where he can interact with a chef. There is a health kitchen game for the Nintendo Wii that features a lifelike depiction of Ramsey that may actually scare you. Alternatively, try Ramsey's mobile game, Restaurant Dash, in which players use their virtual culinary skills and restaurant management prowess to become the next rising star chef, all while being mentored by Ramsey. These games are designed for people who thrive under pressure. Number 15. He is a big fan of Beef Wellington. Beef Wellington is so dear to Ramsey that it has its own section at the Gordon Ramsay's restaurant's website, complete with recipes for making the classic meat and pastry dish at home. It also appears to be the dish he enjoys berating his competitors for messing up. Number 14. He believes that everyone should be able to cook five things. You don't have to be a world-class chef to cook at home, but Ramsay believes there are five dishes that everyone should learn to make. These include a fantastic burger, a delicious breakfast, a chicken dish, a braising dish, the kind of thing you cook on a Monday and still eat on Friday, he told curious Reddit users, and a fantastic cake. Number 13. He has competed in Ironman competitions. Ramsey's knee injury, which ended his soccer dreams, did not deter him from pursuing fitness as an adult. He has run more than 15 marathons, three ultra marathons, three half Ironman races, and two Ironman World Championships, which require running a full marathon bicycling for 122 miles and swimming 2.4 miles. Why does he work out so hard? Training is my release, he explained. Number 12. His guilty pleasure junk food is likely to be the same as yours. When asked if he had a guilty pleasure food during a Reddit Ask Me Anything, Ramsey admitted that he, like so many of us mere mortals, is weak in the face of an In-N-Out burger. I wish they were set up in London because if there is one thing I miss flying out of LA, it's an In-N-Out burger, he wrote. Number 11. He was the head chef at Aubergine, London. Ramsay became the head chef at London's Aubergine in 1993 after working under the tutelage of top chefs such as Joel Robichon and Guy Savoy. At the time, he was 27 years old. Over the next three years, he led the restaurant to a coveted Michelin two-star rating. Sadly, the restaurant has since closed. Number 10. None of Ramsay's children will inherit his fortune. In order not to spoil his children, 
Ramsey has openly stated that he will not leave his fortune to them in his will. It's definitely not going to them, and that's not in a mean way. It's not to spoil them, he said. He stated that he and his wife agreed that their children would each receive a 25% deposit on an apartment someday, but that was it. He also refuses to allow his children to fly first class with him because they haven't worked anywhere near hard enough to afford that. You're telling me they need to sit in first class at that age and size? They do not. Number 9. He's undergone cosmetic surgery. Ramsey admitted to having cosmetic surgery to smooth out some wrinkles on his face. The chef appears to have become irritated by all of the negative comments about his appearance that he received in the press and from his children. I was never embarrassed by it, but my children helped me become more paranoid about it, he told The Guardian in 2010. You've seen the articles. Craggy face, map of whales, ugly, deflated rugby ball. There's only so much shit you want to take. I woke up in the morning and daughter Matilda was trying to squeeze pound coins in there. Number 8. He has a favorite midnight snack. Baked beans are a traditional British late-night snack, so it's no surprise that Ramsey enjoys them. Of course, he's not out in the middle of the night looking for plain old beans. When he gets a craving, he grills some sourdough bread and tops it with baked beans, garlic and hot sauce, as well as a duck egg and Parmesan cheese. Number 7. He is a karate black belt. Anyone who can't verbally spar with Ramsey in the kitchen is unlikely to challenge him to a physical fight, as a chef is trained in martial arts and holds a black belt in karate. It appears to come in handy when a Hell's Kitchen contestant attempted to hit him. Number 6. There is one kind of food he refuses to eat. Although the chef has stated that he's willing to try any food once, there is one food that he'll not touch. Airplane food, not to be confused with Ramsey's Plain Food Restaurant at Heathrow Airport in London. I worked for airlines for 10 years, so I know where this food's been and where it goes and how long it took before it got on board, he said. Number 5. He and his wife have a charitable foundation. The Gordon and Tana Ramsey Foundation is an example of the temperamental TV chef's softer side. Ramsey's foundation, which he founded with his wife Tana, collaborates with London's Great Ormond Street Hospital, or GOSH, to find equipment and services for sick children. Number 4. He speaks French fluently. Ramsey didn't speak French when he went to study in France. His cooking and language skills improved over time, and he became fluent in French. He now understands Spanish fairly well as well, though he has expressed a desire to improve his Spanish skills on Twitter. Number 3. He'd love to cook for Hillary Clinton. When asked what he would prepare for his favorite celebrity diner, Hillary Clinton, Ramsey told Bon Appetit, I would say something authentic, rich in a sauce that had been doused with lots of red wine, like a braised short rib because she's of that era of that age that she understands fine food. Number 2. He actually enjoys kale, but it took him a while. Given his obsession with beef wellington, it may come as a surprise that he's on board with a trendy green superfood like kale. I turned my nose up against kale salads for the first six months, but then my wife got my kids, Holly, Megan, Matilda, and Jack, to eat them, so I was the odd one out at the table. He revealed in a Q&A with Bon Appetit, I've now changed to kale chips to snack on rather than chocolate. Number 1. He dislikes receiving preferential treatment in restaurants. When asked what the worst part of being a famous chef is, Ramsey said it's the massive amount of food he's frequently served at restaurants when the staff wants to impress him. Sometimes I just want to sit in the corner of a restaurant and eat two courses, he told Bon Appetit, noting that sometimes the chef sends out many, many more courses. If I don't taste it, it looks rude. If I eat it, they want feedback. I want to go out to restaurants and not give feedback, keep my mouth shut and enjoy. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Do let us know your thoughts in this video in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next one.